Welcome back once again, Pesca and Tom Brady, another show today. <clears throat> Normally I was going to do my monthly roll up for what I did for the month of March, but I'll hold it off for another day or two because I need to bring you news you need to hear and find out about now because over 500, 500 dividend stocks cut their dividends in the month of March. And I'm going to bring some list of key ones you really need to find about and find out more about because this could be impacting your wallet in the future. And you got to think, what are you going to do? Are you going to keep these stocks? Are going to sell them? You know, figure out what you need to do. I'm not going to give you my advice, but I'm going to some some of these stocks were ones I had dividends as well. So I'm going to give you the rundown on some key stocks you need to find out about, and also what the current dividend is. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, quick little update on what's going on. Now I'm going to talk about passive income, but today I'm talking about this. Really hurts your wallet. Hurts my wallet as well. So I'm going to give you a couple quick little overview on, you know, some dividend assets that got cut and I'll give you a brief, quick little rundown on why, you know, investors saying goodbye to their dividends, companies suspend payouts amid this COVID-19 crisis. Dividends are portions of the company earnings distributed to shareholders to reward them for their trust. It's mainly large, older, well-established companies that don't expect blockbuster growth that do this. Global dividend payments hit a record $1.5 trillion last year according to Janice Henderson. However, firms tend to stop this practice during a recession in order to save capital during the downturn. They also have to consider the optics of rewarding shareholders while employees are furloughed. So it's a double whammy, you know, so they've really got, these companies really got to watch what's in their wallet. So as of March 30th, uh, 12 S&P 500 had to spend or reduce their dividends this year. These include companies Belonging to struggling industries like the Boeing, Delta, hospitality, you know, Marriott, Darden restaurants, uh, retail, Macy's, Nordstrom, Energy, Apache, Freepont, McMorin, uh, Occidental Petroleum. You know, I used to own Occidental Petroleum. Uh, I believe Buffett owns that as well. Ice Data services say over 500 companies in the world, 500 in the world, canceled dividends last month. Nearly 70 of the top 600 listed companies in Europe and eight of the top 100 London-based companies cut or spend the dividends between February 24th and March 31st. Goldman Sachs analysts predict S&P 500 dividends will dry up 38% over the next nine months and 25% for the full year term will grow by 3% in 2021 and 12% in 2022. Expected the rise 40% this year from 35% it will sink down to 26 percent no. all right analysts have been shifting through companies looking for those that may spend their dividends in the near future even dividend aristocrats like old oil companies like exxon and chevron may not be under may be able to stand what's coming but that may change because you know trump did his little deal and <clears throat> talking to uh, russia and saudi arabia you know some of this may change because this came out only a few days ago but all this with trump happened yesterday <clears throat> some other stocks that may be on the uh, fence uh, General Mills, uh, Evergy, never heard of that one, uh, Semper Energy, uh, Qualcomm, and PPL. All right, now let me get back to the top ones you need to find out about that did cut their dividends. So hold on. So I'll give you, I'm a history guy, but I'll give you a quick little update on what happened in the past and also what the top dividends that were cut. The short-term declines in peers of economic contraction, for example, dividends of many banks, automotive companies, and REITs were cut during the Great Recession. This also happened during World War I, the Great Depression, and World War II. Some of the declines were severe. In the World War I, uh, recession and Spanish flu pandemic, uh, 18, 19, I'm sorry, 1918 to 1926, dividends declined as much as 33%. In the Great Depression, 1931 to 1937, Dividends declined by as much as 55%. And World War II and related recessions um, between 1937 to 1949, dividends declined as much as 48%. And then the last crash, you know, the financial crisis of 2008 to 2012, dividends declined as much as 24%. So the last one wasn't as bad as compared to the other ones. So, but this one is a little different. You can't compare this, what's going on now, to the last recession. All right, now this is what you've been waiting for. All right, Gannett, GCI, uh, they cut their dividend down to 30. Uh, Gannett, GCI, 
current dividend is 38 cents. These are all what is all getting cut down to zero are going to get lowered. Uh, new res, uh, NRZ is a uh, 50 cents current dividend, uh, carnival corporation, CCL 50 cents, uh, Pennsylvania REIT PEI, uh, Pennsylvania REIT PEI, I own that one, uh, 81 cents. Uh, Children's Place PLCE, 56 cents. Uh, American Finance Trust, AFIN, uh, dollar, dollar 30, or dollar, excuse me, dollar 10. Uh, Cedar Realty, CDR, uh, 95 cents. Cedar Realty, CDR, uh, 5 cents. Uh, Gap GPS, 24 cents. Uh, Oxford Industry, OXM, 37 cents. Uh, Petrobras PBR, 25 cents. Uh, Granite Point Mortgage Trust, GPMT, 42 cents. Uh, Movado MOV, 20 cents. Uh, Tapestry TPR, uh, 33 cents. Uh, EQT Corporation, EQT, uh, 3 cents. Lear LEA, 77 cents. BGC Partners, BGCP, 14 cents. Arlington Asset Management, AI, 22 cents. Uh, MFA Financial, MFA, 20 cents. Hilton Worldwide, HLT, 15 cents. Harbor Industries, NPR, 1 cent. Penny Mac Mortgage Investment Trust, PMT, 47 cents. City Office Realty, CIO, 23 cents. Two Harbors Investment, TWO, 40 cents. I own that one as well. Uh, Cracker Barrel, CBRL, $1.30. Boyd Gaming, BYD, 7 cents. Summit Hotel, INN, 18 cents. Alaska Air Group, ALK, 37 cents. Texas Rose Roadhouse, TXRH, 36 cents. Steel Case, SCS, 15 cents. Whitestone REIT, WSR, nine cents. Uh, Nordstrom, JWN, 37 cents. Uh, Freepont McMorrin, uh, FCX, five cents. Ashford Hospitality Trust, AHT, six cents. Uh, Macy's M, 34 cents. Calvin Taylor Bankshires, TYCB, 31 cents. Uh, Bloomer Brands, BLMN, 20 cents. Uh, Boeing, BA, Two dollars five cents. I'm sorry, or no, I'm sorry, five cents. Sorry, the way they wrote this is some of the numbers don't make sense. It's hard to some. Of the, it's like it's like double strike. You have two two numbers on top of each other. So, uh, Emerald Holdings EEX seven cents. Uh, Target Resources TRGP ninety one cents or one cent. Uh, Geopark GPRK uh, four cents. Ford it was 15 cents. Uh, Flexible Solutions International, FSI, 7 cents. Uh, Hershey Hospitality, HT, 28 cents. Uh, Darden Restaurant, DRI, 88 cents. RLJ Lodging Trust, RLJ, 33 cents. Uh, Merit International, MER, 48 cents. Uh, Diamond Rock Hospitality, DRH, uh, 12 cents. Uh, designer brand DBI, 25 cents. Cosmos Energy KOS, 4 cents. Uh, Ryman Hospitality Properties RHIP, 95 cents. Uh, Chapman Lodging Trust CLDT, 11 cents. Uh, Marek MAC, 75 cents. Core Lab CLB, 85 cents. Canterbury Park Holdings CPHC, 7 cents. Apache APA, 85 cents. Occidental Petroleum, OXY, 79 cents. Washington Prime Group, WPG, 25 cents. So it's 57 dividends that were cut over this past, you know, because of what's going on. And who knows when it's going to get cut this month in April, you know. April Fool's is going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be April Fool's for everybody here. You know, you don't know what's going to happen because everyone's hurting. You know, everyone's trying to find money. So many people are going to get bailed out by the government, but you don't know. Even like for Boeing. Boeing said they have the money and they're not sure if they want to take the money 
that's, you know, even there's a lot of debate on what's going on and if they're going to make money or not, but who knows, you know, so it's really, you figure out if you're going to make money, you got to find stocks that you can handle, or if you're going to hold on to these until they recover. It may take a couple of years. I honestly think it'll take a few years for these stocks to get back to where they were, where they were, you know, back in February. <laughs> that's just, this is the name of the game. So if you, if you have a long term, long term horizon, you'll be good to go. But if you're getting closer to a retirement, then you might want to find safer assets to put your money into. That's just my personal opinion. But hey, if you have any questions, comment, leave me a comment below. But come back again next Sunday, maybe me Saturday. We'll see. But with my passive income update, you know, I'll see you again. Take care. Have a great day.